Let's learn how to create a classification item. Classification allows students to drag one or more answer choices and drop them into predefined hotspot locations. Test your students' understanding of new concepts as they identify new relationships. Start by entering your question in the question field. In row, you can choose to have multiple rows in which the students could add their answers, or you can just use one row and the students can add multiple answers to that one single row. Column is where you'll enter the different classification categories or class names. I'll go ahead and give them their titles here. Now I'll scroll down and I'll set my possible responses. I have a few additional options down here at the bottom. These are most easily seen when I scroll down to show the set correct answer screen. When I choose show drag handle, you'll see the drag handle appear, showing students that they need to click and drag these options over to the right. Transparent possible responses is best used if you have a background and you don't want the drag and drop answer to cover up the image. Duplicated responses says that I can use the same response more than once. Transparent background image is best used if you have an image and you don't want it to block out the image. And shuffle possible responses is best used if you want students to not be able to look at each other's screen to know where to drag the answers. While I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and set my correct answers as well. Now that I've set my correct answers, I'll go to preview mode to see this item from the student perspective. Then. I'll move to metadata and set my standards. Now I'll finish up by clicking the publish button, making this item available for assessment use. 